Good morning, Columbia. What a ride. And early handover in five seconds. The crew is uh, planning to uh, uh, work with a number of experiments that are associated with uh, uh, the United States microgravity payload, which is a uh, platform of experiments in the payload bay overseen by uh, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Those uh, experiments are mounted on a support structure in the back end of Columbia's payload bay, which is uh, also filled with that Spartan satellite and also the extended duration orbiter pallet of uh, cryogenics. Uh, there's a series of experiments, the, the one uh, on the television now on the downlink uh, from the orbiter is uh, the isothermal dendritic growth experiment, which is an experiment that uh, hopefully may improve manufacturing processes involved in the production of steel, aluminum, and uh, various super alloys that are used in the production of uh, automobiles and airplanes. The investigation is designed to uh, uh, unlock uh, advanced processes that will create some new alloys that may be stronger and may even have uh, better control and more reliable properties than are currently available here on Earth. Uh, Houston, Columbia for Solsi. And go ahead for Solsi. Yeah, Mark, just to be sure we're all synced up here, I hold myself uh, to begin DTP startup uh, or in about uh, two minutes, and we are all set up here to record the uh, door opening. And we copy, and you can start any time, and we have it on the downlink. Good. Okay, great. This is Mission Control Houston, this uh, television from Columbia's cargo bay showing the shuttle ozone limb experiment uh, as the door opens. The instrument uh, will begin its first observations of the mission. It uh, observes the Earth's horizon from orbit and uh, from ultraviolet light uh, reflected off of uh, the Earth's limb or horizon. Gauges uh, the amounts of ozone present in Earth's upper atmosphere. Also underway is a, an experiment on the lower deck of Columbia in a glove box unit uh, that will be the focus of uh, several different experiments during the flight. Uh, in that glove box at present is uh, an experiment called the Wetting Characteristics of Emissibles. This uh, video is from that uh, glove box experiment. This experiment, again, being done in a glove box on the lower deck of Columbia, studies metal alloys and uh, mixing of those metal alloys and uh, wetting effects that are caused as the, those alloys are melted and mixed and uh, that can sometimes cause layering um, as those alloys are created, uh, looking at ways that that uh, wetting could be alleviated. Houston, Columbia, we're going to bring you to the, mid to the flight deck. And we're ready. And Kevin, we're up there with you. Copy. Commander Kevin Kriegel uh, pedaling his way around the world on the bicycle ergometer down in uh, the shuttle's crowded mid-deck area. Uh, this is Kriegel's third flight into space after uh, two stints as a pilot aboard the shuttle Discovery on STS-70 in 1995. And again, uh, in 1996, on the STS-78 mission, which was a, a two-week microgravity sciences mission aboard Columbia. Columbia, Houston, we know you're busy, Kevin, but if someone else is available, we'd like to maneuver to that uh, biased pitch attitude, and we've got the numbers if you need them. Go ahead. That's uh, target two, which you already have in, and then uh, body vector five, the pitch is nine five, 
Yaw and Omicron are zero. Standing behind uh, Kriegel down on the mid-deck is Ukrainian payload specialist Leonid Kadenyuk. Uh, Japanese astronaut Takao Doi poked his head uh, up uh, through uh, the mid-deck area. Actually, the bicycle ergometer is uh, set up on the aft flight deck of Columbia. Uh, Kadenyuk uh, is standing near the uh, passageway from the flight deck down to the mid-deck where Doi is currently located. At the uh, aft flight deck, uh, mission specialists... Uh, or mission specialist Kulp Nachavlo will be joined by uh, pilot Steve Lindsay tomorrow for the operation of the shuttle's 50-foot-long robot arm and the deployment of the Spartan satellite, which is scheduled at 3.03 uh, .03 p.m. Central Time tomorrow afternoon. Again, uh, Kriegel is pedaling the bicycle ergometer on the aft flight deck of Columbia, uh, being watched by Leonid Kadenyuk, who has been uh, operating the uh, Q experiment uh, today, the collaborative Ukrainian, Ukrainian experiment, which investigates uh, the progress of plant growth in the absence of gravity. Columbia Houston for TGDF deactivation, if you could give us a status on that. Just start it up right now. Copy, Steve. Columbia Houston, the Orbit uh, 4 shift is now trading places with uh, Orbit 2. It's been a great first day for us. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, you're off to a great start. And uh, Jeff Bandle is here with uh, his team, and Ellen Ochoa will be talking to you. And uh, look forward to tomorrow working with you on the Spartan deploy. Thanks, Mark and Bill. I appreciate working with all of you, and we'll see you tomorrow.